So your last fight, you said you, you're, they were giving you opponents that you were afraid for them because they don't know what they're in for. Like, this guy's going to get hurt. I'm going to keep hurting these guys if they keep giving me these level of opponents. Does Edson the step up that you were looking for? Yeah. No, this is the fight I'm looking for. Uh, to get an opportunity like this, my first fight in the rankings, first fight in the top 15, to then get the, the top five, uh, widely considered the best striker in the UFC. So this is exactly what I wanted. It might be just me looking in the wrong places, but it feels like more people should be talking about this fight. Have you sort of noticed it as well, or are you happy with the level of, I don't know? I'm happy. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> uh, with a, I think the real fans, this is going to be a, a true treat for them. Like they know what they're in for. They, they follow this very closely, and they know this is going to be a, a very high-level match. So I think the people that I fight for uh, and the people that are important to me are going to watch this. I feel like maybe you've gone a little bit under the radar to some of those casual and kind of mid-level fans, but that this is the kind of fight and the kind of win that puts you over the top, and then all of a sudden now you're a household man in the division? I think being top five just... I don't think it, people, you know, they don't have anything more interesting to say. I just feel like the higher you get up the rankings, the more people that, that want to listen. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to change me. I'm not going to change my personality. I'm just going to come out here, be myself, keep winning fights. And then all of that stuff just comes with it. I'm not going to change my personality to attract more, more people. That's just, um, it's just not, uh, the way I see myself uh, in the sport. What are your thoughts about guys in the sport who do do that? Does it bother you? No, not at all. Like if they want to do them, and you're going to do you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, some of them are just like, uh, like naturally like that. Like guys like McGregor, he's just naturally like that. He's a showman. That's that is his true personality. Like my teammate Israel Adesanya, that's that's just genuinely him. That's just the way he thinks. He's just very. He's just very good at articulating uh, his thoughts, but he also like doesn't have a filter, so it just goes straight from brain to mouth, which is a, a good thing. And the fans, uh, they go with that and they recognize that. So if I go out there and I just put on a persona and, and do something fake, people see right through that, and and you're just only going to attract uh, you know negative negative things around that and negative attention. And for what my goals are, and that's growing the sport of MMA in New Zealand and um, you know, setting a good example for the next generation of fighters, putting on a persona is not uh, aligned with those goals. What's the, uh, the, like Robert Whitaker just won like the GQ Athlete of the Year down in Australia, Israel Adesanya is coming up, you're coming up. What's the, um, the, like, the, the talk of MMA down in that, because we're so far away from that, we have no idea how you guys view the sport. Is it like on that level of like coming like top, one of the top most popular sports now? We're, well, speaking from New Zealand, it's like a huge rugby. If it's not rugby, cricket, or, or horse racing, like people don't tend to talk about it. But, you know, MMA is definitely, I would say in New Zealand, it's a, it's a mainstream sport. Like we're on, we're definitely on mainstream news pretty regularly. Like it was funny, I woke up uh, in the morning and I watched like a like a just a breakfast show over there, and there was like Israel Desanya is flying over to Sydney this morning, and I was just like, oh, he's not going to be at training. So I'm getting like my news on people that I'm close with, or my friends from the TV, from the news, which is yeah, that that kind of was like a eureka moment to me, like oh, this sport is getting big, like I don't have to, I won't see him at training this morning. So it's growing just with with Whitaker, with Adesanya, with yourself. Yeah, yeah, no, it's 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 definitely there, and I think in the next few years it's going to be pretty pretty uh, damn near one of the most watched sports it's, in the country. Especially if Izzy fights Whitaker down there, that's what his goal is. Anyway. That's his goal, right? Yeah. I think what that that show sold out, one of the fastest ten sellouts. Minutes, yeah, in ten minutes that whole show sold out, and that's due to those two guys. So when those two guys meet, I think they're going to have to pull a stadium, man. Do you want on that card? Like, say you walk through this fight quickly and you're unscratched. Could you turn around in February quickly to get on that card? Me, I would like to, yeah. but the way that I have experienced many times in the past, 
is that I don't really get what I ask for. So maybe I'm going to play some reverse psychology and say I don't want on the card, yeah. and then maybe I'll get a fight. No. What, do you, what do you think about Barboza? Just as, as, an, as, as an opponent. As an opponent, uh, I have a lot of respect for his skill set and his ability. You know, he's, he's big, he's strong, he's fast. Um, this is the test I want. I don't want to fight guys that are... Uh, I don't have to mentally weaken someone. I don't have to find like flaws in someone for me to think I can beat them. I think I can beat anyone. I think I can knock out or submit anyone in the world. Just like I think they can beat me too. I go into these fights with a genuine 50-50 coin flip mentality and I feel like it can go either way because it can. I know you're always going for a finish but does this kind of feel like a, a fight of the night type fight for you? Does it, does it feel you gotta wait until you get in there and see how it plays out. You can't it's like re releasing a box of cats. Like it, they can go anywhere. It, anything can happen. You know, it, I doubt. I highly doubt it's not going to be a exciting matchup. What do you make of the, the lightweight division? I mean, so much is going on at the, at the top. We don't know when K when Khabib and Tony are going to fight. We don't know what's the latest on Connor. Poor is there. Who knows about Nate Diaz? But Edson Barboza is quietly still in the top five or just below. I mean, where do you sit with the win? Yeah, well, I think everyone knows, and I definitely understand where this fight gets me. That definitely puts you top five, and then top five, you start positioning yourself for a title. But in the same terms, uh, I can't let myself get distracted by any of that sort of stuff at this stage because it's it's all just it's all just a mirage at the moment. I'll, I'll deal with that when when I can get past this fight, and then that becomes like a real viable option. But as of now, I'm, I'm focused on the task at hand. What, what do you think about Max Holloway potentially coming up? Because after his last performance, Dana wants him to come up to lightweight. And you're a contender, whether you're top five or not after this fight, regardless, uh, he might just jump the line. What do you think about all that? Yeah, I've, I think he's one of the most skilled fighters. I think he's... I want to see it as well. So the more guys fighting, the more fights that are actually happening. So whether that be featherweight champions coming up, other guys coming down, the more fights that have they have going on and the more attention to the division I think it just uh, grows and grows. I was just going to say, I mean, you, you, you said you're focused on Edson, I mean, nothing else really matters right now until after Saturday when, you, you know, hopefully for you, you, you get the win. Um, but that said, are you, are you still in the back of your mind? Are, are you thinking, I mean, I might deserve a title shot, but I might not get one. Look at Tony Ferguson, look at Dustin Poirier. Uh, do you are, you, are you worried that you might just be caught up in, in that whole that's that's the that's the kind of beauty of the sport though like tony's on a 12 fight run and he hasn't got a title shot yet ally aquino got one out of nowhere so anything can happen at the sport that's i think that's why the fans like support it so much because it's not it's not set in stone it's not like this guy's next this guy earned it this guy deserved it it's it's a bit of a mess, and uh, that's why I like it, because anything can happen, and it's, it's any man's game. So with a couple crazy wins, you might jump over a Dustin Poirier or a Nate Diaz? Or... Yeah, for sure. That's, that's the way I see it going. What do you think of your teammates, uh, Israel Adesanya's fight against Anderson Silva? Can it get much better, stylistically, for him? <sighs> Not really. He's like, the, he's like the Anderson Silva 2.0. I don't think that's going to... Anderson was one of, that's one of my big influences when I first started the sport. And that's with uh, Israel as well. I think my first pro fight, I did the whole eyes closed, <laughs> back up into the cage. So I was like emulating him from day one. So, man, I don't really want to see him get his ass kicked, but I think that's the way it's going to go. Do you think Izzy gets a title shot with a win? Do we see Whitaker, Israel? Yeah, well, I can't see why one would be promised a title shot and then the other wouldn't. It, it, it's a title eliminator. Right, like, who is the outside of that? Jacare, who lost to who lost to Gaslam and Robert Whitaker, so he's kind of no one wants to see that as much as Israel. So, I think it's the logical next step.